Am I looking at that or am I looking at you? Unity, what it means to me is people coming together, a community coming together um, uh, with something that they truly believe in and working together to make the world a better place. So unity to me is a type of togetherness that goes beyond just a ceasefire. So unity to me is a type of bonding to where the members that are unified move together, act together, and protect each other. To me, unity means when we can all be equal and have acceptance for others. Unity to me means coming together as one, even with all your differences, and trying to reach a common goal. Unity means to me when times get rough, sticking together is crucial. Unity to me means acceptance of others and accepting everybody's differences even when you don't agree. Unity to me means that a group, uh, could be a big group, could be a little group, but a group is united for a common goal. The biggest thing is a, a common goal for everybody involved. So unity to me is, uh, I feel like it's just being in a group of people and not judging them off who they are or anything like that, just being together and accepting them for who they are. Um, unity means working together no matter the size, gender, sexuality, or race to achieve something. Anytime uh, you try to better understand people, you're going to slip up, you're going to make mistakes. And I think it's common for some people to, you know, call someone out or to cancel them. but. Being unified means calling somebody in, you know, accepting that mistakes are going to happen if you're having honest conversations and educating people, informing them, uh, being accepting that we make mistakes and we're human. That is what unity is all about. Unity to me is really important because it's something that seems really easy, but it's a really a dedicated commitment. Um, I know that I have always been someone who likes to gather people and find commonality, so I think unity is something that our school really needs and uh, could learn a lot from just understanding that our differences are not meant to be divisive, but they're meant to kind of be something that's celebrated. Um, well, first of all, I truly believe that East High is one of the best schools out there that um, deals with diversity, and I think we really accept everyone of all ethnicities and all abilities, and I take great pride in that, and I think most of the staff and students here do as well. Um, so I just think us just keep working on the same environment and keep working and being open and talking to people and just having these conversations about um, our different abilities and how we think and learn differently is what um, we just need to continue to doing and keep being at the great school that we are. So. so if East High was able to see itself as one, as whole, then I believe that many of our students would be able to walk into this building with the confidence of being accepted. And I think that'd be a really powerful thing. Um, more students would defend their peers against hate and more students would see this high school community as home. East High is simply amazing. I just love how when we're at a game or we're in the classroom, those differences really don't matter anymore. And we're just all people here, you know, working together. And everyone's trying their best to try to be the change and to respect the E. Unity makes East High a better school, as in basically making each other feel well and making sure that everybody is welcomed in every community, in disability, LGBTQ, and all those. Uh, I feel like we should always be united, that our students are our number one goal. Um, there's a lot of different personalities, there's a lot of different personal affiliations, political affiliations, but we should be able to unite in a common goal of serving our students the best we can and finding some common ground. Diversity can be many things like sex, race, uh, ethnicity, gender, but I feel like diversity makes us better as a school and if we can accept everyone for who they are and just not judge them off what they want to do with their life, then that makes us better. Really bringing ourselves together to be one, because this school, like, there's a lot of us and I don't, if we were just not united or not in unity with each other, 
I think we would probably have the hardest times of our lives trying to get through the day because I bet there would be people that would be bullying each other, probably some harassment and other things. But with the unity that we have here, brings us together as a whole and shows that we can be different than any other school. I feel like we as East High need unity to help each and every single student feel comfortable in their own bodies and not like try to be other people and just accepting who they are as they are as a person. <laughs> I think some things we can do to become more unified is, is better understand each other, you know, listening to one each to one another, understanding that while we may be different, we actually probably have a lot more commonality than we realize and that everyone has their own individual struggles and we're better when we can come together and work together to get through those struggles and to make us the best people that we can possibly be. Our kids just blossom when they have a place and a space. And for me, unity really means safety. Um, and our kids are dealing with a lot outside of school and so are we and I could get I'm already getting emotional just thinking about it. Um, but this should be our school should be a safe space. So all that stuff that's happening outside, they can come here and they know that they have someone and that they know that they have a warrior for themselves. And I use that word a lot, warriors, because it's not easy. Um, it's really hard. And I've just seen it firsthand how much it can mean to our kids, um, especially just working with the GSA or just working in my classes. Um, it's a pillar of my teaching to create celebration around people as individuals. So I like I like the the weirdness or the kookiness or uh, you know kids that literally jive to the beat of their own drummer. I just personally believe that a bunch of minds are better than one, and I think that having a different a bunch of different perspectives on certain things is what um, makes things happen and what makes ideas and the things that we have now. Um, just really what they are so just making sure that we keep communicating and talking to one another and just trying to see life through different lenses is what's super important so yeah you do is can we, this is the most important thing and I didn't used to be good at this if you're here and they're here you got to communicate in here because if if I stay on this side and don't look at their perspective or vice versa, we're never, we're never gonna find a common goal. So this is the most important thing. All the social media, all the fighting, all the politics lately, um, you gotta be able to discuss while also looking at the other people's perspective. I think that's very big lost art right now. I think the big thing with bullying is standing up for one another. When you see something's wrong, speaking out, saying something, supporting your peers, being a good bystander. Um, bullying is one of those things that doesn't help anybody. I've done this job for 14 years as a principal and it really, really hurts people. And I wish people understood that. And it also hurts the bullies in a, in a weird way with self-esteem and self-confidence. And a lot of times that's where that stuff comes from. So I think the big idea is just treating everybody kindly, treating everybody with respect no matter what their situation is. And just understanding that if we're all out here to make each other uh, better. If we're all out here to improve one another's lives, we can accomplish that so much easier by supporting one another, being kind, and trying to understand the other person's side of view or point of view on things. That's really the key. Lions, at the beginning of the year I talked a lot about Be the Change and what we needed to do to help each other, to carry each other, to pick each other up. And Unity Day is just another example of that. You develop a caring culture by caring for everybody, regardless of anything, regardless of the differences we all have. You care for each other, you, you're there for each other, you pick each other up in down times and in good times. You have the ability every single day to be the change. Step out of your box, be the change, promote unity for everybody, all of our lives. I just, yeah, I, I want this place to be a safe haven and like welcoming arms and if our school is full of bullying and microaggressions and those under the breath comments continue, um, it's, it's never going to be unified. And so that's one thing I challenge everyone to not be a bystander and to 
speak up when they hear things happen. And that's when I come back to how unity is not easy. It's, it's vulnerable and it's trying, but it's like a good ugly cry. It feels good afterwards. <laughs> so um, I, I just hope so much that people take this to heart and um, be that face or that person that can, can bring them uh, into the fold and create solidarity um, and know that they're loved. So.